oil palm cultivation on peatlands in Southeast Asia started in the early 1960s. However, it was not very successful in the beginning due to major operational problems, especially when oil palm was cultivated on deep peat. Peat are soils rich in organic matter and undecomposed plant material. They occur particularly in areas where decomposition of organic matter is hampered by cold temperature or continuous wet conditions. It was not until the 1980s, after years of experimentation, development of new technology and promotional efforts from the government, that oil palm was grown successfully on peatlands. Did you know that Malaysia and Indonesia together have more than 24 million hectares of peatlands? Today, it is estimated that over 1 million hectares of these peatlands are under oil palm cultivation in Malaysia and over 2 million hectares in Indonesia. However, the cultivation of oil palm on peat comes with certain challenges and risks. When natural peatlands are transformed into agricultural land, it leads to the loss of ecosystem functions. Draining of peatlands causes gradual lowering of the land surface due to the drained peat shrinking, consolidating and becoming denser. This leads to greenhouse gas emissions and increases the risk of fires. RSPO encourages growers not to develop new plantations on peatlands, but instead on mineral soils and low carbon areas. As a large part of oil palm cultivation is currently on peat, the RSPO developed the RSPO Manual on Best Management Practices for existing oil palm cultivation on peat. This guideline goes into more detail on operational practices and avoidance of risks good management, operational improvements and conservation and rehabilitation of set-aside areas in and around the plantation are crucial for sustainable production. Good practice is to set aside forest and peat areas for rehabilitation or conservation. In the case of peatlands, rehabilitation involves re-wetting of the peat. For set-aside areas such as river reserves, high conservation value land and peatlands, it is important to manage these areas effectively, with community involvement being crucial if the set-aside areas are on the border of the concession. It is also recommended to conserve vital wildlife corridors, remaining natural peat swamp forest areas and streams with endemic or endangered species. To learn more about peatlands, check out the following videos in the Best Management Practices for Existing Oil Palm Cultivation on Peat course in the RSBO Sustainability College.